What's up guys, Intellitech Studios here, and today will be the full review of Abyssal Power Force Helix Model 1240 and 12B1. Specifically, this machine that you can see right here in the middle. Now, I have it surrounded by the two other machines that basically filled the 2013 to 2015 Power Force lineup, which is the Power Force Helix Turbo Model 68C71 and the Abyssal Power Force Bagged Model 1398. This review will mainly focus on the Power Force Helix, but I'll still reference the other two machines since I do have them in my possession and, you know, basically can compare them to. So, the Power Force Helix I've had for many, many times over and yet never actually did a full review on, and there's honestly not a whole lot to say about it. When you compare it to the older Power Force Helix, or not the older, the newest Power Force Helix, you can tell that there is some subtle differences, but overall it's the same vacuum with the exact same 8 amp motor. Uh, as far as other things about this that are different, it's just kind of very similar to the older style. It's basically like if you took the oldest Power Force Bagless and the newest Power Force Helix and squished them together into the same vacuum, that's basically this is what you would end up with. So, as far as the features on it, obviously up front you have the five height adjustment. This particular machine has a lot of scratches and gouges on it. So this particular machine was not taken care of all that well. And whenever I got it, it had very badly plugged up filters. And that's the only reason it was thrown out. Uh, this had the same issue that a lot of Bissell vacuums have, where it simply has just never been maintained, and as a result, the inner and outer circular filters were completely plugged with dust and debris, and as a result, the machine had lost suction, and the owner simply threw the machine away instead of trying to actually wash the filter, which is kind of ridiculous considering the filter is right there. It is impossible to miss. Obviously, you can't get away with not dumping the container, and yet every single time that you open up the container, you can clearly see this filter and as you can see, I have washed it out. Um, it's still a little bit dirty. You know, there's some hairs and stuff that kind of refuse to wash off, but I haven't really bothered. There's also a pre-motor filter right here, identical to the older Power Force bagless models. And that is there as well. For some reason, I'm getting cobwebs on my fingers. So that's also there for filtration. And of course, you have the separator up here, which of course you can untwist and pull out to access to clean. But again, none of these were cleaned, presumably in the seven years that this machine was owned. As you can tell from the serial, from the serial, from the serial date, that this machine was manufactured on the 329th day of 2013. And again, this is an 8 amp example. Also, for some reason, whenever I got it, this lower hose little bracket over here was not connected properly. I'm not sure if they tried to unclog it or if it somehow just got pulled out during use. I don't see how that could have gotten pulled out without it breaking off the screw. So they must have pulled it off at some point and then not put it on there properly. So of course I had to readjust that. And the hose of course was full of gunk. This hose by the way is awful. It is obviously not very stretchable. It does not exactly give you a ton of reach. And they've removed the hose wand that was previously there on the Power Force and still is there on the bag variant, or at least was at the time. This hose wand, which they did not get rid of. So if you were buying a machine back during when these were on the market, I would have recommended that you get the bag variant by a long shot because this actually does have a stretch hose. Now granted, this particular stretch hose, after cleaning it very thoroughly, it still looks pretty gross, but at least it doesn't smell bad anymore. But otherwise, the machine is good. Another thing about the bag variant, the bagless Helix model doesn't have, none of the Helix models have this, is a post motor filter. So this one you can actually install a HEPA filter or use the classic post motor filter. In the case of this machine, well, there is no post motor filter, at least not one that is accessible by your average consumer. You have to completely pull apart the motor assembly to get a hold of the post motor filter that's on the exhaust of this, and that is identical to the modern Power Force Helix. The Power Force Helix Turbo does have a door with a HEPA filter very similar to the older Power Force Bagless. And in fact, the Power Force Helix a filter door actually does fit on the older Power Force bagless, so you actually can retrofit that with the Caddy and put a HEPA filter on it. 
Not that that matters, because none of these are sealed systems, and the filtration is god-awful. I see many collectors who do not like these machines, specifically because of the filtration, and that is a very fair point, because otherwise the cleaning performance of these machines is pretty good. I've used these machines on and off for many, 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 many years, and many different variants that are similar. And they all perform pretty well. One thing I will say is that the filtration on this is better than the older Power Force bagless because, again, it took a lot longer for this filter to get filled up with junk, whereas the older Power Force bagless and turbo models take not nearly as much time for this filter to get clogged up with junk. This sort of separator is really bad on the older Power Force baglesses. I know the older ones, they, they don't have this rib design. They have a sort of uh, like hole design, like a hole punch design. And I don't know if that's the culprit or if the actual just sort of dust cup setup is the culprit, but those machines, filtration is a lot worse than these, if you can even believe that, because these ones are already pretty bad. And that is one thing they improved on the newer Power Force Helix, is that the filtration between the older Helix and the newer Helix, as far as how long it takes for the filter to get dirty, is about the same. But at least the entire sort of dirt cup setup on the Helix is much easier to deal with. The newer Helix is very, very simple to maintain and work on. You just have the entire cyclone assembly that pops off. And then you pull this up and bam, there's the filter. And you can see my particular one is dirty because it's been used. But you can see that it's very simple to clean all that out. And you can just run this entire, you can just throw this entire thing in the sink and clean it out or in the bathtub and of course this little separator comes out as well so again maintenance is much easier on the older helix or on the newer helix even though again you have to pull it all the way down to the motor to get access to the post motor filter if you're worried about that get the turbo variant of this the turbo variant of this is buried in the back of my closet so i can't exactly show that but i could show the older helix turbo which is obviously closer to what i'm reviewing Although I have already reviewed this alongside the power groom, but you can see this one actually has a HEPA filter. But again, it doesn't matter because the filtration on these is awful anyways. These are obviously not a sealed system. If you want a sealed system, you're going to have to you're going to have to get something like the Shark Navigator lift away or, you know, just like a Dyson or something more expensive if you want an actual sealed system with a bagless setup. Now, in the case of the bagged unit, the way you can get around that is by simply getting a HEPA bag, and that will greatly increase your filtration abilities. However, due to the virus and the pandemic and everything going on, HEPA bags are very difficult to find, at least the ones that I have always gotten for these power forces. So that does, unfortunately, make that harder to do. But in the case of this Helix... Again, it is better filtration-wise than the older Power Force bagless. And in fact, they do still sell this to some extent. In fact, both of these machines, they still sell to an extent. They both sell them as commercial Bissell variants. They're big green commercial machines. And they're basically identical, only they're in a green color scheme and have a much longer and replaceable cord. So if you do still want to get a new example of this machine, you can get it in the commercial variant. And if you want it in this exact blue scheme, you can get it as a sanitaire. And that sanitaire will have a stretch hose, a longer cord, and a metal handle. But otherwise, be virtually identical. And I believe the sanitaire version also has the 10 amp motor instead of the 8 amp motor. Although some of that information has been conflicting on many of the info sheets that I've been seeing. So that could be inaccurate or it also could just be depending on what they have in stock so if i unlock my phone real quick you can actually see that you can still buy this the aforementioned sort of commercial variant of this for about 150 bucks brand new and like i said the sanitar version is pretty much the exact same price so you can kind of pick between those two but if you manage to get one of these older ones then the performance would be pretty much identical it's just you get a much shorter cord and presumably, hopefully, you get it for a much, much, much cheaper price. So, yeah. So, again, it has five height adjustments. It has these onboard tools, which are about the same as all the other ones. Of course, you have the extension wand. You have this crevice tool. Some versions of these come with a shorter crevice tool, and some of these come with a longer crevice tool. But these machines always come with black crevice tools. So, really just depends on what you get. And, of course, the classic Bissell combo tool that is either famous or infamous depending on who you ask it slides right back here on the caddy 
identical to the older Power Force Bagless. Then we have the 25 foot cord, which is, did I say 25? I meant 23 foot cord, which again is much, much shorter than on the original Power Force Bagless, which was 27 feet. And also no headlight as well. So there's a lot of features that have been removed from this, but the price was lowered whenever this was in stores. So it kind of, you know, balances out. So yeah, it also says that it never loses suction. That is obviously a lie because that's how this machine was thrown out was because, well, it lost suction. And no, it wasn't clogged. It just had the filters plugged up with dust, which I guess you could say the filters were the clog. But yeah, one thing that I really hate about this machine is that these brush rolls on this machine constantly go bad. For some reason, this generation of Bissell was just notorious for constantly having bad bearings in every single pretty much brush roll they had. This machine did have pretty poor quality bearings whenever I got it. The brush roll was kind of crunchy, but thankfully it wasn't very it wasn't that bad at all and I was able to just add a little bit of oil to either bearing and by a little I mean a lot because I want this thing to run smoothly and it has since been running very smoothly. Um, obviously it's not as free as it could be, but you know whenever I spin the brush roll outside of the machine, it does spin for a couple seconds freely as it should. And, of course, this uses the same Bissell-style 7, 9, 10 belts that every Bissell vacuum in its price range uses. And they actually added a couple extra screws to hold on the bottom plate a little bit more securely. They added a screw down here and a screw over here instead of the normal Power Force bagless, uh, like, the, like the 6583 or the 6579 that just has four screws on either side. So... A little bit different there, but of course the pile height adjustment is the same. You have five height adjustments. This has no sort of squeegee or brush roll shutoff, so using it on bare floors is not recommended, even though it has a bare floor setting. The bare floor setting is pretty pathetic. So if you're going to use this on bare floors, I would recommend buying a bare floor attachment and attaching it to the hose, and that's how you should clean bare floors with this machine. Otherwise, you will likely end up scratching your floors or damaging the brush roll on the unit. So... Yeah, uh, not much else to say about this. It has the sort of foot-mounted power switch, just like the newer Helixes, and just like every Power Force bagless has always had. These machines have always had these foot-mounted power switches, and yeah, that's about precisely what's expected of this machine. So, also, if you want this machine, this will be for sale very soon. As soon as this video is over, I'm going to list it on my offer up. So, that is definitely something if you want this machine it will be for sale and in fact the helix turbo i've been selling for a while because a bunch of people said they wanted it and now it's sitting here waiting to be sold and nobody's buying it so yeah that's also the same story i actually sold the phantom lightning but offer up canceled the sale so hopefully the person who wanted the phantom lightning will be buying that again otherwise the lightning is for sale as is the dyson dc15 so if you want any of those machines um Go to my offer up and you'll be able to find it in Teltech Studios on offer up. And I'm constantly posting new vacuums there as well. So, because I have a ton of vacuums I need to get rid of, and you get the idea. So, with that being said, let's go ahead and give this thing a spin. All right, so the cord is in the upper cord clip, and we can see that the entire machine is ready to go. And it's on the high carpet setting. So, go ahead and test this out after it's been. All refurbished again I already know how this thing works I've used it for so long but you probably want to see it running so we'll run it right now
brush hole is a bit squeaky, but otherwise performs very well, as you would expect. Uh, at least, you know, again, for the price, obviously this is not the best deep cleaner in the world. This is not going to compare to something like, you know, a SIBO or, you know, something like that. But it does still get the job done. And, you know, it, it's very easy to push. That's one thing I will say is that I just vacuumed this living room yesterday. In fact, I vacuumed my entire house yesterday with the Bissell Power Lifter Swivel Pet. And it was awful. It was extremely hard to push. The swivel neck was completely unusable. And it was just really difficult to work with considering what I would expect from a cheaper Bissell like this. So this is much closer to what I would expect. It glides across my carpet. And yet still, you can tell based off the brush roll that it is still picking up. It's still grooming the carpet very nicely. My biggest issue with this is the cord. For some reason, maybe it's just because I haven't used that Helix in a while, but this this cord feels even shorter than the Helix. If I'm if I got the cord length wrong, I'll put the correct cord length in the description. But I believe this is a 23 foot cord, maybe like 22, 23 foot cord. But look at this. Like once you put the cord on the hook, this 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 is it. There's no bunched up cord or nothing. That's all the cable you get, and that's kind of ridiculous. Um, for the price, that's what you'd expect, but, you know, that's why I would gladly, you know, if I was going to keep either of these machines, I would obviously keep the turbo, because the turbo is much better. It has a better hose, has a turbo brush, and it has a much longer and more usable cord. So, again, the, the turbo, the turbo is obviously the better choice, but the standard Power Force Helix is what everyone seems to like for some reason. So... It, it definitely has its, it's definitely very humble, and, you know, it has its sort of advantages. Obviously, it is a little bit lighter than the turbo, since there's just less cord and less stuff involved in it. It's much more simple. But, yeah, so, finally reviewing the sort of older style Bissell Power Force Helix. I do like it, but, again, you know, I, I used to hate this, obviously, because it was, like, pretty much the worst version of, you know, the Bissell vacuum, since, you know, it still had the weird dust cup setup still didn't have a post motor filter and yet also doesn't have the advantage of being you know much lighter and easier to maneuver than the newer style but i still like this and it's still a good machine you can still find these all over the place on the second hand market if you go on offer up you can probably find like 20 of these things for sale sometimes you see people with multiples of these because you know these have been around for at least a while i believe these ran I believe these ran from like 2012 or 2013 all the way through 2016 when they finally got replaced by the 1700 model. Of course, that's the 2191 model, but, you know, close enough. So, yeah. Um, as far as do I prefer this or do I prefer the newer style Helix, you know, which one would I prefer? I don't, honestly, I, if I'm just like vacuuming, if I'm just, you know, talking about vacuuming my floors, then I probably prefer the, the older style. But as far as the whole package, you know, having to maintain it, having to use it, having to carry it all over the place, then, you know, this just seems like the more efficient option. And it just seems like the better thing overall. Even if it's not, if, even if it doesn't necessarily feel as sturdy as this, the difference is very minuscule. And there are some ways where this does feel still very nice for the price. So... Honestly, between these two, I picked the new Helix as far as what I would actually prefer to use. You know, yeah, there, there's some things I like about the older one more. I do like the power switch a little bit better, um, even though I actually like using this one because you can actually easier tell whether or not it's on. The cord storage being on the side is a lot nicer than it being jammed into the back. And, you know, besides that, there are pretty similar again the dust cup setup is much better on this but the filtration is equally poor on both of them but yeah so um i do like the new power force helix and again i may be repeating myself i don't think there's much else to say about this and i'm pretty sure i've said that phrase like four times in this video but you know i prefer the bagged and i prefer the turbo but this classic power force helix it gets the job done that's pretty much the phrase that I would say. It gets the job done. And if you need one in a pinch and you find one of these secondhand, pick it up. It's a decent machine. Again, if you can get a good brush roll on it, that's kind of the biggest issue because the bearings go bad on these brush rolls all the time. 
So if you can get over that issue, then it's still a decent machine. And again, if you don't use, just like comparing the newer styles, get the turbo if you use the tools or get the bag if you use the tools. But if you don't use the tools or you use it so infrequently that having this hose doesn't bother you, then sure. Obviously, there's a million of these out there because these were sold for a long time. And these were sold in many places where the turbo and the bag weren't available. So you're going to find these all over the place. And you know what? Considering that used, you can probably get these for like 20, 30 bucks now. I would say that's a pretty good deal. And you really can't go wrong as long as you get one that's, again, like wasn't too terribly tore up and actually like completely broken. So anyways, this is Intellitech Studio signing out. And I'll see you guys in the next review. I hope you had a great, hope you have a great day. And again, if you want this machine, because I don't want it, I do not want to keep it in my collection. So if you want either of these machines, um, check my offer up because they are listed there and you can buy them. So, you know, fully refurbished and everything. Obviously, this I'll clean out a little bit again to make sure it's nice and clean when it gets shipped out. So, yeah. This is Intellitech Studio signing out, and I'll see you guys in the next video. And uh, hope you have a great rest of your day. I already said that. Man, this is not going very well. Uh, okay. So, um, video and vacuum suck. Okay. Uh. I forgot how to end my videos. I haven't done a video in so long. Um, peace!